Have you ever paused in the midst of your daily hustle to reflect on the immense capacity of your thoughts? Let me ask you this, how significant do you believe your thoughts are? Thoughts, according to many philosophers and scientists alike, are one of the most potent forces we possess. Every single moment with each tick of the clock, we are thinking. Even as you're listening to this, a multitude of thoughts are swirling around in the labyrinth of your mind. These thoughts are like an ever-flowing river, a continuous stream of consciousness. But here's the surprising fact. These thoughts are not just idle chatter or mere mental noise. They're the master builders of our reality. They set the blueprint for our lives. Picture this, a successful entrepreneur once shared that he started his journey with but a simple thought, an idea of creating something remarkable. Today, his thought has materialized into a booming business empire. Similarly, a famous author once remarked that every character, every twist in his best-selling novel started as a tiny spark of thought. Our thoughts shape our perceptions, our emotions, and ultimately, our actions. But the irony is we often underestimate this power. We allow negativity to penetrate our thinking, fogging our mindset, and casting a dark shadow over our aspirations. It's as if we become prisoners in our own minds, trapped in a fortress built with bricks of self-doubt and fear. Now, let's envision a different scenario. What if you could harness this power, not as a chain of burden, but as a tool to craft a life you truly? What if you could channel your thoughts towards positivity, optimism, and success? Imagine a painter with thoughts as his vibrant colors and life as his canvas, creating a mesmerizing masterpiece. Imagine the countless possibilities, but the question remains, how can we truly master this power of thoughts? Stay tuned and in our next chapter, we'll unlock the secrets to taming this incredible power within us. Many of us are prisoners to our own minds, held captive by negative thoughts. I once knew a woman named Sarah was a striking example of this. A talented artist, Sarah often found herself paralyzed by the thought that her work wasn't good enough, that she would never succeed, that people would laugh at her attempts. Despite her undeniable talent, these doubts held her back from sharing her art with the world. This harsh reality is something that many of us can relate to, isn't it? Our minds can become our worst enemies, allowing doubt, fear, and negativity to creep in and taint our perception of ourselves and the world around us. Let's delve a bit deeper. The thoughts that we entertain, whether they're positive or negative, heavily dictate our emotions and actions. Think about it in your own life. Have you ever had one negative comment ruin your entire day? Or perhaps you've noticed that a single negative thought can spiral into a storm of worry and anxiety, much like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering speed and size as it descends. This snowball effect of negativity isn't confined our feelings, it spills over into our actions, or rather, our inactions. Let's go back to Sarah. When she was consumed by negative thoughts, she found herself less likely to take action towards her goals. She hesitated, she second-guessed, and she held back. Soon she found herself standing still, paralyzed by her own thoughts. While her dream of becoming a successful artist seemed to drift further away from her reach, Negative thoughts acted like a giant roadblock on her path to success, convincing her that she wasn't good enough, that she was destined to fail, or that she was simply not cut out for the art world. And the worst part? Sarah, like many of us, believed these thoughts, accepting them as truth without question. But here's the twist. These thoughts, potent as they may seem, are not an accurate reflection of reality. They're often based on past experiences insecurities and fears rather than objective facts these distorted perceptions keep us stuck in a cycle of self-doubt and self-sabotage but it's not the fact that we have these negative thoughts that's the problem after all we're human and negative thoughts are a normal part of human experience the real issue arises when we let these thoughts control and dictate our lives so how do we break free from this negative thought cycle this is where we will introduce the power of positive thinking, but this isn't just a simple switch from negative to positive. It's a journey, a process that requires understanding, practice, and patience. Stay tuned, as in the next scene, 
we will the steps we can take to regain control over our thoughts, just like Sarah did, and ourselves towards a healthier, more positive state of mind. Remember the wise words of Mahatma Gandhi, a man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. This highlights the immense power our thoughts hold over our perception of reality. The, the answer to achieving your goals, overcoming obstacles, and to leading a fulfilling life lies in harnessing and directing the power of your thoughts. You must become the captain of your mental ship, steering your mind towards positivity, growth, and resilience. But how can we accomplish this seemingly daunting task? How do we grasp the steering wheel and successfully navigate the intricate labyrinth of our mind? The first step is to enhance our consciousness of our own thoughts. This means paying extra attention to the thoughts that cross our minds throughout the day, recognizing the recurring patterns of these thoughts and understanding how they are emotions and guide our actions. It's not about suppressing or fighting the flow of thoughts. Thoughts will always come, like the incessant hitting the shore. The trick is not to let the tumultuous negative waves drag you into their undertow. Acquiring this awareness is the first yet crucial step towards thought control. Once we become aware of our negative thoughts, we should then learn to reframe them. This involves rigorously challenging these negative thoughts, questioning their validity, and replacing them with more positive, empowering beliefs. Consider this process as rewriting the script of your inner dialogue changing the from a tragedy to a triumphant success story. This may sound like an arduous journey, and indeed it is. But keep in mind, just as Rome wasn't built in a day, developing a positive mindset is a journey, not a destination. It's a developmental process that requires time, patience, and continual practice. But the rewards, the transformations, transformations, and the breakthroughs are well worth effort. Now you may be wondering, what's the next step on this journey? It's about cultivating habits and rituals that support our mental well-being. This could range from maintaining a regular exercise routine and adopting a healthy diet to practicing mindfulness exercises and meditation. It's about establishing a routine that holistically nurtures our mind, body, and spirit and provides us with the energy we need to stay positive and resilient. The beauty of this process lies in its transformative power. Once you start taking control of your thoughts, once you start fostering a positive mindset, you'll experience a paradigm shift in your life. You'll start attracting more positive experiences, start achieving your goals, and gradually transform into the person you aspire to be. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But how does this theory into practice? As we part, remember an important adjunct to positive the power of visualization. Harnessing the of our thoughts is only the first step. Stay tuned as we delve into how can you use visualization as a powerful tool to manifest your dreams and aspirations into reality. Today, we're diving deep into an ancient and potent technique, visualization. Visualization has been a revered practice for centuries, dating back to the Olympians of ancient Greece who mentally rehearsed their athletic feats to the Tibetan Buddhists who used visualization in meditation for spiritual transformation. Over time, this powerful tool has evolved and become a cornerstone of modern psychology and personal development. So what really is visualization? To understand this, let's picture a scene. A painter stands before a blank canvas. Before the first stroke of the brush, the painter has already envisioned the finished painting in their mind's eye. They see the vibrant hues, feel the textures, perceive the interplay of light and shadow. That's the essence of visualization. It's the process of creating mental imagery or setting an intention of what you want to manifest in reality. Consider visualization as a kind of mental rehearsal. You're training your mind for the real performance, but instead of running lines or practicing steps, you're picturing the positive outcomes you crave. Imagine seeing yourself ace that job interview, cross the finish line of that marathon, or navigate a stressful day with dignity and patience. The beauty of visualization is its versatility. It's not confined to achievements or pivotal life events. You can apply it to any aspect of life. Want to feel a sense of tranquility? Visualize a tranquil beach bathed in the hues of sunset, seeking confidence. Envision yourself standing tall, emanating an aura of self-assuredness. But remember, visualization is more than mere daydreaming. It's a powerful tool that can help you reshape your mindset. 
By consistently focusing on positive outcomes, you're programming your brain to believe in the possibility of success. You're refuting the negative I can't narrative with a resounding, unwavering I can't. This shift in belief primes you to take action towards your goals. Now you may wonder, how does visualization work? Interestingly, our brains have a hard time differentiating between reality and imagination. When you visualize, your brain lights up the same neurons as it would if you were physically experiencing the event. Over time, this can reinforce these neural pathways, making it easier for you to materialize the desired outcome because your brain has already practiced it. Let's take a common fear as an example, public speaking. You might visualize yourself confidently standing on a stage delivering a compelling speech to an excited crowd. You can almost hear their applause, sense the adrenaline coursing through your veins, savor the gratification. Immersing yourself in this visualization, your brain starts to believe that you can indeed be a successful public speaker. This belief boosts your confidence, sparks motivation, and ultimately increases your chances of success. Visualization isn't just beneficial for personal goals, it's also a powerful tool for emotional healing and stress management. By visualizing serene, safe, or joyous scenarios, you can alleviate feelings of anxiety or distress. The key to effective visualization, though, lies in consistency. It's not a one-and-done trick, but a daily practice. The more you visualize, the more profound the impact on your mindset and behavior. Don't just take our word for it. The proof, as they say, is in the pudding. So let's now turn our attention to some compelling case studies that will showcase the power and potential of visualization in real-world scenarios. Diving into the pages of the esteemed Journal of Consulting and Clinical Psychology, we uncover a profound study that provides substantial evidence. This comprehensive research involved participants suffering from social anxiety disorder, a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. A novel approach was adopted in this study with the use of pioneering visualization techniques forming a crucial part of the treatment procedure. Participants were expertly guided to craft vibrant mental pictures. They were asked to envision themselves in an array of social situations, responding not with trepidation, but with confidence and tranquility. The emphasis was not only on the visual aspect, but on incorporating all senses into the visualizations, the participants were encouraged to breathe life into these mental scenarios, making them as real and tangible as if they were living the experience in that very moment. The outcome of this unique approach was nothing short of remarkable. Participants who diligently applied these visualization techniques witnessed a significant decrease their symptoms of anxiety. Their previous feelings of dread and unease in social situations diminished considerably, replaced by a newfound sense of calm and control. This study goes beyond just providing statistics. It underscores the transformative power of our thoughts and how they can be harnessed for our benefit. It's a powerful testament to the fact that when we consciously steer our thoughts towards positive outcomes, we hold the ability to reshape our realities. Visual evidence of the power of controlled positive thinking indeed. As we peel back the layers of this groundbreaking study, we are met with a compelling call to action it's a reminder to us all about the power of our minds and the potential that lies in each of us to shape our reality. This study serves as a beacon lighting the way to a future where we are no longer prisoners of our anxieties, but masters of our destiny. An exciting invitation to embark on a personal journey of transformation, one positive thought at a time. Remember the wise words of Winston Churchill, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Now the power to change lies within you, within your mind, within your thoughts. It's time to seize control of the reins of your mind, to consciously direct your thoughts towards the positive and consciously push them away from the negative. The journey to self-improvement is not a quick sprint, it's a marathon. It's a long run that requires endurance and unwavering commitment. Each day acts as a significant building block. It's a daily commitment to growth, to cultivating an aura of positivity, and to the unwavering belief that you can triumph over challenges and achieve your goals. One powerful tool that you can harness is visualization. Don't just imagine, but truly visualize yourself achieving your goals. 
living the life you desire and crave. This is not mere daydreaming, but a strategic mental exercise proven by science that can help to rewire your brain to focus on the positive and diminish the power of negative thoughts. And how do you do it? Simple. Find a quiet, comfortable space where you can relax, perhaps while you're sipping your morning coffee or during a quiet moment before you sleep. Close your eyes and picture your goal. Feel it, smell it, hear it. The more senses you engage, the more real it becomes. Make this part of your daily routine. As you incorporate this technique, you'll start noticing the positive changes, the subtle shifts in mindset, and your increased motivation to chase your dreams. Remember, you become the embodiment of what you think about. Begin now, start shaping your reality today. And as we wrap up, let these words sink in. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. These words aren't just to inspire, but to remind you of the go-getter inside you. Let's not wait for another day to pass. Let's take the reins of our thoughts right now. Let's begin to shape our reality today because you, my friend, have the power to change. You have the power to create your own sunshine, no matter how cloudy the... So think positive, be positive, and positive things will start happening.